Hey guys, it's time for a new hardware review and something new for the channel. This is actually the first video that I'm making with my new GoPro Hero 7, but it's also the first review I'm making for an Insignia brand product. I've mentioned in many reviews these past few months that I work for a Best Buy store and Insignia is basically the Best Buy brand. So if this review does well and more interesting devices come from Insignia like the one we're going to talk about today, I might do a series of hardware reviews specifically about Insignia Switch products. As you can see on the box that Vegito is holding up for us, we're diving into a peripheral for the Nintendo Switch Lite that doubles as a battery pack as well as a stand. So here is my review of the Insignia Extended Play Battery Pack for the Nintendo Switch Lite. To start things off, let's go into hardware design. This device is essentially a battery pack that clamps itself onto a Nintendo Switch Lite and doubles as a stand. The front, as you can see here, is set up kind of like a cradle with a USB-C charging plug the light can slide down into. Do know that this was made exclusively for the light. The way this is designed makes the original Switch unable to slide down and plug into that port. When we take a look at the bottom, we can see a few different power pieces on each side. On the left, we've got the power button that can be pressed to turn on the battery and start charging up your Switch. And on the right, we've got a USB-C port for plugging in a charging cable. When we take a look at the back, we've got these air vents down here for when you're using the battery, but also these switches and knobs up here with the lock and unlock icons next to them. This is actually for the top of the device. Push these into the unlock position and the top slides right off, allowing you to put your switch light down in straight into the cradle instead of having to put it at an angle and risk damaging something. Then you just put the top back on, switch these knobs to the lock position, and you've got a battery pack safely clamped to your switch light. And of course, the final and most important piece we need to talk about is the kickstand that comes out that lets you prop the switch up when it's in this clamp. I find the overall design pretty simple and very convenient considering this clamps onto your Switch Lite instead of being a large power bank that requires a USB going from it into the Switch. But that's just the design. The more important thing we need to talk about is performance and that's with a few different things. First of all is weight. Your Switch Lite's obviously going to be heavier with a battery pack clamped onto the back of it. But thankfully the lightweight design of the Switch Lite works out in our favor here. Even with the battery pack attached to it, the weight isn't really that much different from the original Switch in handheld mode. That was a positive, so let's go into my first criticism and that's how much of the Switch Lite's back this battery pack actually uses. The edges of the pack rest where a lot of my fingers normally rest when I'm holding the light, so there's definitely an adjustment phase that you have to go through. And now let's get to the bigger points of this device's performance. How it is as a charger and how it is as a stand. And let's start with the charging aspect, which is a really difficult thing to gauge. Every game on the Switch uses the battery a different way, so giving you a concrete, this is how many extra hours of playtime you're going to get, is pretty much impossible to do. There's always questions in my head when I walk into a store like Target or Best Buy and see one of those devices that says adds 15 extra hours of playtime to your Nintendo Switch. Okay, are we talking about 15 extra hours of CPU heavy games like Breath of the Wild? Or are we talking about 15 extra hours of light CPU games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist? Because if we're talking 15 extra hours in Breath of the Wild, Legacy of the Duelist is probably going to get a good 30 hours out of that device. Whereas if it's 15 extra hours of Legacy of the Duelist, Breath of the Wild might get 6 to 8 hours. In this way, Insignia was pretty smart because no matter where you look on this box, I have yet to find any concrete, this is how much time you're getting out of it. And honestly, that's how all these devices should be. But I digress, let's get back into the readings I've got, which are battery ranges instead of exact numbers. I tested three games with this battery pack. City Skylines, Breath of the Wild, and Truck Simulator USA to make sure I had games that didn't use the battery in the same way. The lower spectrum of these ranges is going to be with maximum settings, max brightness and Wi-Fi turned on, and the higher end will be middle settings with brightness about halfway up and airplane mode turned on. So here are my battery ranges. City Skylines got 60-80% to 80 battery back while playing the game. Breath of the Wild got 50-70%. to 70 and Truck Simulator USA got 60 to 80 percent. 
Now, if you really want to maximize the battery and don't mind not playing for a little while, if you put it in sleep mode, it'll gain back about 123% on a full charge of this battery pack. So given these readings, it's safe to say you're going to get around 50% or more back no matter what game you're playing. The only thing you gotta watch out for is the three light indicator that tells you how much battery is left in the pack, or at least that's what it's supposed to do. There are times when one light goes out when a third of the battery pack has been used up, and there have been other times when the first light went down when almost half of the battery pack was used. Now let's talk about using this as a stand, which honestly is the reason I bought it. The kickstand comes out and only has one position it can be on. Now the great thing about this is stability. When the kickstand's out, there is a huge amount of balance when you place the stand on pretty much anything. And that about wraps up all the information I've got for you, so in conclusion, the Extended Play Portable Charger is an odd little device, because in my opinion, what it does best is nowhere in its name. While it does give you a decent amount of charge, the indicator is often wrong about how much is left in the battery, and it takes some finger adjustments when you're not using it as a stand. But if you're looking for a good stand with the added convenience of being able to charge up your Switch Lite as well, this is one of, if not the best, Switch stand that I have ever owned and used. Reviews to Go rates the Insignia Extended Play Portable Charger for the Nintendo Switch Lite an 8 out of 10. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.